morning, everybody. Um, I'm delighted to be back with you here at Radio Days Europe, and I'm delighted big promotions and events are back uh, post-pandemic in 2022. If you were up late last night, don't worry. This is an easy session. Just sit back, enjoy the content. We have a lot to get through in the next 30 minutes or so. And I've been taking a look around the world at uh, some great ideas and what's been successful in 2022. But I always start with this. Um, why are we doing a radio promotion, a big station promotion? We're either doing it for reach and talkability to get more people to listen to our station, for market share so that they listen longer, to launch a new show or format, if we have a new breakfast show or drive time show, we want to make some noise in the market. To utilize all our station platforms, so we have so many different uh, ways that our listeners can now interact with us, but again, bringing it all back to the mothership, as we say, and on air. And finally, client base, which are probably the most difficult, that a client wants to spend some money and you've got to come up with some kind of concept. So we're going to start in Ireland, my own country, and we're going to Cork to Red FM. And they had a, uh, I suppose, a difficult but easy question. What happens when the biggest pop star in the world is in your territory? How are you going to maximize it and really own it? Now, if you're called Red FM, there's one obvious thing you can do, and that's change your name to Ed FM, which they did uh, across all imaging and RDS. Um, and this was the winner of the best on-air promotion at the Irish Radio Awards back in October. So... What I'd like to kind of get the idea of here is how they really owned it all and had so many different ways that they brought Ed, Ed Sheeran on air um, to their listeners. So this is a little video that kind of summarizes it all. Ed, the minute you land in Cork, you better give us a call now. I'll have my entourage meet your entourage. We'll show you our own art side. We'll bring our mams too. Now I'm in town, break it down, thinking of making a new sound, playing a different show every night in front of a new crowd that's new now. Chow seems to laugh is great now. Right, Ed, this is our 745 secret sound on Red Breakfast. What do you think it is, Ed Sheeran, for 2,500 euro? <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> come on, Ed, come on. Come on, Ed, we're really far, yeah. Hello, is it like a chair creaking? <sighs> no, it's not, is it? No, better luck with cancer, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's not, Ed. Our Don is on to midday when Red FM turns to Ed FM. So here we are on top of the Shandon Bells, the highest point in Cork. It's absolutely amazing. The sun is shining. Ed Sheeran arriving on Leaside tomorrow. And we are launching Ed FM with Shape of You playing across Cork. Look at the beautiful city. It's absolutely gorgeous there. Uh, the sun is shining. Absolutely amazing. And we're looking all the way down towards Porky Cueve where Ed Sheeran is going to be playing tomorrow. And uh, we're launching it here with this tune. Marissa or Bellringer playing Shape of You right across Cork City right now, launching Ed FM. So she has it spot on. Marissa, the bell ringer, campanologist is the official title of bell ringer. I didn't know that until today. And we're here on top of the Shandon Bells. He's going to be down there tomorrow, the main man, Ed Sheeran. And Cork is now officially listening, not to Cork's Red FM anymore, but to Cork's Ed FM, as we are known for the next few days, as Ed Sheeran returns to Cork on a sunny day on the Shandon Bells. The guys from Blarney, who have we got down here? Sarah. Mary, Dylan. Oh, guys, you're big Ed Sheeran fans. You've got hair like Ed Sheeran and everything, Dylan. <laughs> yep, I have. Oh, you're like a mini Ed Sheeran. All excited. They were just getting the photos there with the Ed Sheeran masks and everything. Yeah, right? we're oh, we delighted. Are. We can't wait. Come on, Ed. Bring what, it are your, on. what are your favourite songs? What are you going to be about to the room to tonight? I'm on my way. Driving to 90. Come on, listen. Come on. Three lane. Three lane. Three lane. Three lane. Three lane. Three lane. I won't stop till my name's in life to stay Around here, yeah, we do it well Tune, bring it through the city like you're shining the bells Me and you, we can make bangers I know you wanna be a Cork legend The recap it in, we represent So Edge, you gotta turn rebel red Anywhere else, get it out of your head We make you pure carb like your bar of bread The recap it in, we represent So Edge, you gotta turn rebel red Anywhere else, get it out of your head We make you pure This is Ed FM. 
So a music station really owning a big music event uh, when it came to their territory. That was a great uh, job from Red FM. Number two, we're going to go to South Africa, to Smile FM in Cape Town. Very simple idea that many breakfast shows might have touched on before. And they went to uh, look for Cape Town's loudest snorer. Uh, this was the winner of the Best On Air promotion at the South African Radio Awards in 2022 and started with a conversation on breakfast and they decided to measure how loud the snores were that were submitted. A little bit of audio from the campaign. So we asked Cape Tonians to record their snoring partners at night and send us the evidence. Nothing could have prepared us for what we got. Night after night, I don't want to wake the monster. The snores kept coming. Some were even cute. Some were big. Some sounded like they needed a holy intervention. And others sounded like they needed a lavatory intervention. Uh, what I really liked about this campaign as well is they, um, it wasn't just humans that they measured. So if you want a bit of fun for your breakfast show and to shame some of your listeners, that's a good way to do it. We're off to the UK next for promotion number three and BBC Radio 1 and the Greg James Show does some really amazing stuff and a couple of times a year they do these really big events and in 2022 they brought Greg's Giant Jigsaw. So it all started with Greg being removed from his breakfast show and told that he wasn't getting it back until he completed a challenge and that challenge was there was 20 pieces of a jigsaw all over the United Kingdom he had to locate them and get them back with the help of his listeners. So really got buy-in from his listeners on this, and they turned up everywhere on big TV shows, sporting events. This is one example of uh, one of the jigsaw pieces being found, and Greg had to do this live on TV on a show called The One Show. It's a moment we've all been waiting for. Up the stairs, although they aren't the tiny chunks we were once promised. As you walk it up there, bearing in mind that 10 metre is the height of two double-decker buses and half a car. Yeah. Going to be hitting the water. Two. Yeah, it's tall. You hit the water at 35 miles an hour, and you have set foot on that diving board before I have. So if you jump off this, it's before me. And he's in! Oh. He's oh. gone! Oh. Excellent! Slight bit of under rotation there, but that was, that was fantastic. Look, and he's got the jigsaw puzzle. Amazing. He's got it. Again, this is one of these great promotions where there's no real prize for the listener, but they really want to get involved and help out and find those pieces. And this was the moment where they found the final piece. Radio One. Giant Jigsaw. There is one piece still to find. One of the clues in the Radio One statement said, Greg, you are a beacon of hope for the whole nation. We're getting so many messages from people saying there is a beacon near you, Greg. What are you thinking about the bit of, we're sure you can detect what we mean with this subtle clue? It's got to be the metal detector guy. I think we should just call this guy. Hello, Simon Cox, oh. ring finders. <laughs> 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 I believe that you have a metal detector. I have some treasure to be found. Simon Cox, the ring finder. Nice to meet you. Thank you. So where do you suggest we start detecting? Probably on this ridge line down here. Okay. Anything yet, Simon? I haven't started yet. Okay, well, let's turn no. it on then. <laughs> Please start, yeah, ring finder. That, that's He's my favourite. It. Turn it on. I've got some oh! beeping. Can you hear me beeping? Yes. Oh, what's that? It's a big, that's just a big bit of metal, isn't it? Oh, this is a nightmare. Anything going on, Greg? Yes, 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 yes. There's some more beeping. Have you found yes! it? Yes! Oh, yes! you found it! What, 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 what? Yes, I found a puzzle piece in a shallow Bye grave day! on the beach. I've got the piece. Oh, God, I'm It's only sick. taken you a week. Oh, shut up. <laughs> shut up, everyone. <laughs> right, so you're running up the beat with the piece. I'm not going to run. <laughs> oh, fascinating. I can't imagine him running up there. We've nearly done it. The jigsaw has literally been touched 
by all the amazing people that make up the Radio 1 family. And I have had a difficult few days for sure, but a really fun few days. And it's been amazing to meet just hundreds and hundreds of Radio 1 listeners. We're by the lagoon at the moment. And there's a nice crowd uh, assembled. Please, can you come and touch the final piece of the puzzle? Bless the puzzle, please. Bless the puzzle. Yes, bless the puzzle. <laughs> I'm going to get into, here we go. I'm going to splosh. I'm in the lagoon hey. for the last time. <laughs> as the final puzzle piece goes in. So, oh. shall we? Okay. Do it. Radio One's giant jigsaw. It's complete! Hey. Oh, boy! Hey. <laughs> yes! Great stuff there from Radio One. So, um, this was a quote from Greg after the campaign, which I thought was brilliant. It said, there was no real serious point to the game, but there was a semi-serious point behind it. We always want to remind everyone how live and alive radio is and can be, how it can broadcast to millions and still feel like a friend you can phone up and have a laugh with. The real magic is in each listener having their very own personal relationship with it too. Next, for number four, we're off to Slovenia, and this is more of a community-focused campaign. So again, um, the station's called Radio One, and it's the biggest national commercial station in Slovenia. And uh, one of the breakfast presenters, Miha, travels the entire country for 10 days on a four-wheeler bike raising money. Celebrities join him along the way, and they get huge buy-in from the public. And it's been running for eight years. In 2022, they raised almost a million euro, which for a small country of two million people is a huge amount. And it brings a fantastic story arc to The Breakfast Show. And because of the success in recent years, it now attracts some big commercial partners as well. So this is just a flavor of the scale of the event and how much the public buy into it. Hey, letos pa deželaka junaka začnemo malo drugač. Evo, letošnji start je bil nekaj poseben ga. Najprej samo go iti spletno po ekipo na otoček. Na vodi, čutem na vodi, da na vodi. Začnemo za otroke, to je bistvo. Zdaj je pol poti je za mano, zdaj je pletna naložena. Mišice bolijo, pa gremo nazaj. Bomo zgrizel. A bomo ekipa! Mamo to, jaz! Zbrali... 924 tisoč, bravo! 126 evro in 75 centov, kar je redno! So really nice community-focused uh, promotion there if you were looking for an idea for your station. For number five, we're going to go back to Ireland and a station called iRadio. Now, every radio station in the world right now is thinking about TikTok and TikTok functionality and how we can use it to our advantage. And there's a lot of conversation here at RDE23 about it. And so iRadio brought us TikTok Mic Drop, which was the winner of the Social and Digital Innovation uh, category in the Irish Radio Awards back in October. They teamed up with their local councils across the northeast and northwest of Ireland, and they wanted to create awareness of sharing the road wisely among fifth, sorry, 14 to 24 year olds. And they were encouraging their younger demographic to engage by duetting on their road safety TikTok. So this is really using the TikTok functionality of duetting back to the presenters, and this is a little flavor of the campaign. <laughs> Well, how's it going? You can win a thousand euro by duetting the road safety rap that we just made. The lyrics will be on your screen. The best of luck. All the gang are in the back. Jeez, tonight was awful crack. He's had a few, but he'll be sound. I'm just a few miles out of town. I stop with the keys down. Don't be problem with that sound. Hard to tell. He's so plastered. 
It'll only end in disaster. True, do not drink and drive, oh. people. I've got a full rap god on this one. Duet this, see if you can learn the lyrics and sing along. TikTok mic drop round two. Yo. His palms are sweaty, he's deep down and buried in his phone as he walks along. AirPods blaring, he's careless, but on the surface looks switched on and normal to the cars going by where he's just inches from harm. Now listen. When you find yourself on the street and you glue to your phone, remember you're forgetting your feet. You cannot realize how distracted you are till it's too late and you're stepping out in front of a car. Thank you very much, Rory, from the news. Thank you, Miles, for that six fees. Thank you, Jacob. Eminem, call me. Peace. Hi, you could win a thousand euro from my radio and your local authority by duetting this video. Lyrics on screen. Let's go. Don't speed up. Stay in line. Don't go faster. Than this side. Know the limit. Know your speed. Don't get careless. So again, a nice campaign um, using TikTok, but with a bit of a community spirit behind us. We're off to uh, New Zealand next for promotion number six, and everybody's probably done a, a crack the code at some point, um, but the ZM network decided to bring the box, which was the winner of best network station promotion at the New Zealand Radio Awards. As I said, cracking the code is a bit of a radio staple, but they put their own twist on it, and this time the box could talk back. And the box interacted with callers and presenters each play. On one occasion, the box was open to reveal another box, and they produced 25 TikTok videos, which had 11 million views. Here's a sample of that campaign. We don't know what's going on. What is going on with this box? <laughs> I found a clue! I've got it, I've got it! You I got, got it? I'm panicking. What do I do now? I, I don't know. I don't Just know. put it in a number. <laughs> oh, it's open. Oh, oh, it's a free oh my god! I found an envelope. <laughs> Please read this number to split your phone and Megan. Zero, nine, six, three, nine. It's shaking. Eight. Sammy, it says, congratulations, dear listener, you've just won $5,000. Holy moly! Yeah! ZM's the box. The code has been changed. The box restocked. And now you need to get inside. ZM's the box. Win at 8, 12 and 4. Go for a Zero, break. 7, 3, 6. Here we go. Entering now. Come Zero. On. Come on, Alicia. 7. Come on, guys. Three, six. Are you ready, Alicia? I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Entering now. Oh my God! <laughs> You're taking the test. You're taking the no. No, I'm not. I would not take You're the test with you. You're taking the test. Oh my God! Alicia, the box is oh. open. You just won twenty thousand dollars. Oh my God! I'm not gonna cry. I can't do that. Oh my God! Oh. Oh my god, oh I did not god. expect that to open. Um, we've got to hear from the box. Box, you're open. You're finally open. How many times have I said open that box? Oh well, finally god. you have. So congratulations, dear listener. You are now $20,000 richer. There's oh. no way it was that obvious the whole time. That is it insane. Was right under it our was noses. So uh, that's New Zealand and their winner of the best uh, promotion. We're off to the Netherlands for number seven, Radio Veronica. Uh, a nice promotion for a music station. So they got themselves a train. They filled it with bands and listeners and also an outside broadcast. And they travelled across the country collecting people on their way to a gig at the end. And this is a little sample of what happens. The Veronica Express. Veronica komt naar je toe. Beste reizigers. Met de Veronica Express. Dit is de Veronica Express, waarin we luisteraars hebben die meetreinen. En ook artiesten die we hebben opgepikt. The train leaves the station on its way no destination.
snelste trein van Nederland. Ik heb wel artiesten met wild langs zien komen. Ja, ik mocht ze niet voeren, maar het was leuk om ze te zien. Het is hartstikke leuk. De meisjes zijn hartstikke mooi aan het zingen. Brian zingt hartstikke mooi. Het is leuk om te zien dat er veel gemuziceerd wordt en veel genoten wordt onder elkaar. Dit is toch de beste promotie die je kan hebben, dames en heren. Serieus, volgend jaar willen we overal eigenlijk even uitstappen, optreden, instappen en maar door. De Veronica Express. De Veronica Express. De muzikaalste trein van Nederland. So, nice uh, campaign for a music station. We're on number eight already, back to the UK and to Absolute Radio. And if you're stuck for a prize for your listeners, why not give away an entire radio station? Which is what they did with Absolute Radio Kevin. Uh, basically, for 10 days, uh, they gave away the opportunity for you to become the presenter, producer, and interviewer on that station. And the winner, Kevin, was a 47-year-old dad who beat off competition from hundreds of other entries. He had to come up with his own idea for what would the theme of the radio station be. And he chose a radio station dedicated to playing the best debut singles and songs from debut albums. This is Absolute Radio Kevin, where debut songs matter. Just literally two weeks ago, I was a listener of Absolute Radio working in a theme park, and today I have my own radio station. Absolute Radio Kevin, where debut songs matter, bringing you the biggest debut songs, the songs that started off the world's best artists. Right now, I'm joined by Dave Berry and the breakfast team, and Dave, I need to hand in my call badge. Why are you handing in the badge, Kevin? The other night, I made my wife Look at a spreadsheet that I created. Of oh, <laughs> oh, Kevin. Why do we only ever find these things out once we've given the radio station away? <laughs> Nice I'm very lucky now to be joined by the hometown boys, Bush and Richie. Richie and I, who are um, the unofficial kings of quizzing. We thought we would prepare you a quiz about famous firsts. You up for this? I'm up for it. It's been absolutely great fun today, from meeting the breakfast show first thing this morning, through to talking with Leona and uh, Bush and Richie just now as well. It's been such a fascinating peek behind the curtain to see everything that goes on in terms of producing a radio show and how it all works. I've just blown my mind. It's been fascinating to see all this work in action. It's been fantastic. Absolute Radio. Okay, number nine, I want to take you to my own radio station, which is Beat in Ireland. And when the restrictions lifted uh, finally last January, we wanted to make some noise and get back out and do what we love, which is big station promotions. So we brought us On The Run, which had some elements of The Fugitive and also some elements of Hide and Seek from BBC Radio 1. And it was nominated for two awards at the Irish National Radio Awards. That's me looking quite scary on a piano there. Um, so, as I said, we, we wanted to make some noise, and this was a little bit of a different campaign, because if you do a station promotion, often you, you'll go through teasers, pre-promos, and then into the promotion, post-promo, but we wanted to really drop a bomb uh, with a short campaign, and uh, make some impact, and make some noise, and so, thankfully, we had a, a sponsor who was open to us kind of doing what we wanted with it. So it started with uh, me not turning up for the breakfast show on a Monday morning, um, which, as somebody who's maybe taken four sick days in 17 years, caused a little bit of alarm with our listeners, and they were sending key holders, looking for key holders to my house. But sure enough, I appeared uh, on the phone about an hour later and revealed that I was on the run, and the only way I was coming back to the radio show was if the listeners found me. Um, now, we continued on through the day until drive time when... All of a sudden, our drive presenter didn't show up, and it was revealed he was also on the run. So the boss put a bounty on both of our heads. My poor colleague, Shona, who hosts the breakfast show with me, was um, forced to host both breakfast and drive for a few days. 
as the kind of helper for the listener to work out the clues and work out where we were. And we ran it over about three days, and by day three, people had taken to the streets. A lot of people had taken to the streets looking for us for the uh, cash prize, and this is a little bit of audio and video. Beats on the run with Cable Kilkenny. I'm going on the run. If you want me back on that radio show, you're going to have to find me. Cruising around the region today, so we have. Darren's been swanning around like I don't know what, and nobody's found him. And she actually drove straight past Darren. In the middle of my college exam, I'm meant to be studying today, so... <laughs> We're still going strong. Legs are in bits. And what do you have to say when you see the lad? Are you on the run from beat? <laughs> are you going to do it? We're going to do it. We are going to find him. Are you on the run from beat? Yes, What's we are. Clear <laughs> Griffin. Clear Griffin, yes, you just are. won two You're grand. Two grand. Usual beat business can now resume. Beats on the run with Cable Kilkenny. Fun for everyone. Bowling, arcade games, and food. CableKK.ie. I had a great time. I was holed up in a country manor for three days hiding out uh, while my poor co-host was doing the, all the work back at base. We saw a little snippet there, but this is just the moment we were caught on a very wet afternoon in a place called Kilkenny in Ireland. Are you wondering Yes, we are. Kira Griffin. Griffin, you just won two you grand. Won two grand. Can you believe it? Oh my god. Oh. I don't Hang on there. believe it. There you go, you can take some of them. Thank you. We gotta go live on the air, hon. What's your name? Kira. Kira, and where are you from? Carlo. Okay, and what are you doing in Kilkenny today? We drove down to see if we could find you. No way! Crack, yeah. Okay, this is amazing. <laughs> So my colleague uh, Darren wanted to keep running there, but she caught him, so she got the, the full bounty uh, for that. Finally, we are off to Australia, and this is where budgets mean absolutely nothing. <laughs> we know Kyle and Jackie are the best at what they do, and if you work on a breakfast team, you're often told to bring your personal life into it as much as you can. And Kyle's had quite a couple of years. He met his fiancée. And then she got pregnant, and they decided that to reveal the gender of the baby, they wanted to make some noise in Sydney. Hi, everyone. Good Hi. morning. Hey, it's, it's your gender reveal day. Oh, my God. That is right. That is happening today. big boat in the harbour, you're going to have uh, two formation fighter pilots fly over Sydney Harbour That's right. and smoke is going to pour out the back and it's either going to be pink or blue. That's right. Anyone got any guesses on what uh, boy or girl? Any oh! Someone yell out donkey? I heard donkey. <laughs> what the hell's that? I don't know what that is. Uh, there's a lot of people here. Thanks everyone for coming. Our family, friends, keep your eyes up. I'm going to cross live to Matt in the actual jet at the moment. Matt, can you hear me? Hey, Jack, here. I got you loud clear. Oh, oh fabulous. So okay. Good. All of Sydney looking up in the sky. We are ready for you guys. How long do you reckon it'll be before we start seeing you? Uh, we're there in about uh, 90 seconds. Kyle and Tegan, we are 90 seconds away from finding out. Oh. 90 seconds. Oh my God. We're just waiting to see the smoke. Okay, we've got the boat in front. You can see how to see us come along. The guys, they can see us. Well, there we go. We can see them. They are inside. Okay, we can see the jets coming over. It is really close, guys. Two planes flying in formation over the top of us as we speak. And we're looking at it. God. Well, I'm going to have to put all the dresses back. Sorry, all the lay-by dresses, they're being returned. We're thrilled, seriously. But we did expect a girl, but we are so happy. We're very, very happy. Oh, oh my God. That was amazing, the way they just flew over. It was incredible. Oh, there they are they're again. Hey! Oh, my God. Oh, they're really putting on a show for us now. Now they're just showing off. 
Wow, the blue smoke continues to fly over Sydney Harbour. I've got an air, a you little boy. A well hung boy, no doubt. My God, this is amazing. It is incredible. What a gender reveal. I've never seen a gender reveal that epic. I've got to see my mum. Oh, she'll be so happy. When you get back to the office, ask your CEO or general manager for the budget for the fighter pilots. <laughs> uh, I wish you good luck with that. Um, okay, just a couple of takeaways based on those um, from my experience and speaking to some of the programmers behind those campaigns for uh, a good promotion. Ensure your mechanic is not overly complicated. I'm both on the management side and the on-air side, so I see both sides, and I know myself as a breakfast presenter, you need to be able to sell it very easily um, to your listeners. Give it the serial effect. People want to know what happens next so that they will uh, stay listening for as, as long as you can. Ensure the 360 approach, so that's on-air, online, on the street if possible, but always bring it back to on air to the mothership. Big budgets aren't everything. It's not always about a big prize. Uh, sometimes just uh, your listeners want to take part and have fun with you and solve the problem. And it's all about being creative. And finally, a quote from Derek, who's the uh, content director, group content director with the KISS Network in Australia. And he said, the greatest radio promotions should be explained and understood in the title alone. The build and the hype is everything. And that's it. Thank you, guys. Thank you.